Words from Psalm 104, verse 30. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. God renews the face of the earth. Look around you, lift up your head and look at the spring becoming summer and see this for yourself. Go out into the countryside. Dog roses are opening the hedges. They have silky white or pink petals with yellow centers which come out on the bush all at the same time. I don't know if you ever noticed. Not one after another, but all at the same time. They're the classic flowers of early June and the most beautiful, but they fade and fall quickly. Cow parsley is starting to fade already, but the scent is still strong. You look up in the sky when you hear the cries, and the swifts are now back from Africa, and they catch their food in the ridgeway over the road on the, ri on the wing, over the houses and over the road. On clear warm days when insects rise, they go screaming, maybe above the roof of your house. And on dull days, they shoot to and fro over lakes and marshes. Several swifts will fly, if you look, fast alongside each other. And then they'll meet another party, speeding equally fast towards them. But they never collide. Have you ever noticed how they never collide? Warblers, chiff-chaffs, chaffinches, blackbirds can all be heard singing still. But the countryside is quieter now that many birds are busy feeding their young in the nest. And sometimes if you walk past a tree or bushes, you can hear the calls of the baby birds, waiting and hoping to be fed. A 17th century Anglican poet and priest, Thomas Traherne, understood all this natural beauty as the way God allures our human freedom back into union with him, as a woman might spend an hour getting ready before she goes out to allure a suitor. Through this beauty, heaven allures us. Heaven reaches out towards our senses and allures our souls. As Traherne says, to trace the glorious way towards her highest bliss. He wrote, awake my soul, soar upon the wing of sacred contemplation. For the king of glory woos, he's pleased, he pleased to allure poor feeble dust. Although thou art impure, he condescends, vouchsafing to come down, that with his glory he might ash his crown. In another place, the sun comes like a bridegroom forth to show the shining of his love to me below. The very earth is made a paradise and clad in sweet and royal liveries of curious flowers. The King of glory doth my soul allure. Spring becomes summer in the season of Pentecost and Trinity. All around us is this chorus of allurement through natural beauty. And Traherne also writes of the wooing of our souls by the direct agency of the Trinitarian life of God. He writes, He wooed me by his son, I can no more. What hath his goodness done? His spirit is a secret agent too. The Holy Ghost himself comes down to woo. He speaks for God and whispers in the mind, kissing the ear that to his mouth inclined. And Traherne declares that his poetry is an extension of this wooing. He writes, the rhetoric of all the worlds employed to woo for him. And if thou art not cloyed, my soul with kindness, his crown and throne and endless kingdom, all conspire in one. His soul, thy soul, and all thy friends say, come, God is alone, thy glory and thy home. The King of glory, doth my soul allure. The season of Pentecost and Trinity. Come Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Amen.